Before we proceed on our discussion, let me present to you our objectives. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to list the steps in solving quartile, decile, and percentile for ungrouped data. Solve measures of position using the Mendenhall and Sinsic method. Solve the measures of position for ungrouped data using linear interpolation. Calculate and interpret specified measure of position for ungrouped data. Let's get started. In our previous lesson, we learned how to illustrate quartiles, deciles, and percentiles, or also known as the measures of position. Measures of position gives us a way to see where a certain point or value falls in a sample distribution. Also, it is a technique that divides a set of data into equal groups. Quartiles divide the data set into four equal groups. Deciles divides the data set into 10 equal groups. And percentiles divides the data set into 100 equal groups. In addition, ungrouped data is the data collected in original form or it is an array of numbers. In this video, we will learn how to solve and interpret measures of position such as quartile, decile, and percentile for ungrouped data. At this moment, let me show you first the formulas that we're going to use for this topic. In solving for quartile position, we have Q sub K is equal to K quantity N plus 1 all over 4. For decile position, we have D sub K is equal to K quantity N plus 1 all over 10. For percentile position, we have P sub K is equal to K quantity N plus 1 all over 100. Notice that the only difference is the denominator. For quartile, we have 4. Then for decile, the denominator is 10. And for percentile, the denominator is 100. Moreover, in solving for the measures of position for ungrouped data, we can use either the Mendenhall and Sinsic method or the linear interpolation. We will first discuss the Mendenhall and Sinsic method in finding the quartile value for ungrouped data. With this method, you will first calculate the position of the quartiles. You will use the formula Q sub K is equal to K quantity N plus 1 over 4. If the number is not a whole number, you round off to the nearest integer, with one exception. If you get 0 0.5 at Q sub 3 or the upper quartile, you round down. Let's have an illustrative example. Find the Q sub 1 or the lower quartile and Q sub 3 or the upper quartile of the following test scores of 9 students in their mathematics activity. 1, 27, 16, 7, 31, 7, 30, 3, and 21 using the Mendenhall and Sinsic method. For the solution, first step is to arrange the scores in ascending order. We have 1, 3, 7, 7, 16, 21, 27, 30, and 31. Second step is to locate the position of the scores in the distribution. Let us compute first the lower quartile, or the Q sub 1. Using the formula for quartile, we have the position of Q sub 1 is equal to 1 quantity 9 plus 1 all over 4. Since our K is equal to 1 because we are looking for Q sub 1, then our N is equal to 9 because we have 9 students or 9 data. Now, let us compute. 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. Then, 10 times 1 is equal to 10. Then, 10 divided by 4 is equal to 2.5. Then, the computed value 2.5 becomes 3 
after rounding up. Step number three, identify the quartile value. The lower quartile or Q sub 1 value is the third data element because the first data is 1, the second data is 3, and the third data is 7. Therefore, the lower quartile or Q sub 1 is equal to 7. More so, since Q sub 1 means 25% of the distribution, therefore, 25% of the test scores is below 7. Next, let us solve for the upper quartile or the Q sub 3. We can now proceed to step number 2 since we already arranged the data in ascending orders. Step 2 is to locate the position of the score in the distribution. The position of Q sub 3 is equal to 3 quantity 9 plus 1 all over 4. Our K is equal to 3 since we are looking for Q sub 3. Then our N is still 9 because we have 9 students or 9 data. Let us compute. 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. Then 3 times 10, we have 30. 30 divided by 4 is equal to 7.5. Then the computed value 7.5 becomes 7 after rounding down, according to the rule of the Mendenhall and Sinsic method. Step number 3 is to identify the quartile value. The upper quartile or the Q sub 3 is the 7th position in the distribution. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Therefore, our Q sub 3 or the upper quartile is equal to 27. Since Q sub 3 is equal to the 75% of the distribution, therefore, there are 75% of the test scores is below 27. After the Mendenhall and Sinsic method, let us discuss how to solve quartiles for ungrouped data using the linear interpolation. But first, let us know what is interpolation. Interpolation is the process of finding the value between two points on a line or curve. In statistics, sometimes the quartile point will be between two numbers such as 3.4 2.7 and 5.5. To get the exact value of the quartile, we need to interpolate the data that we have. For you to understand this method, let's have an illustrative example. Find the lower quartile Q sub 1 and the upper quartile Q sub 3 of the following test scores of 9 students in their mathematics activity. 1, 27, 16, 7, 31, 7, 30, 3, and 21 using linear interpolation method. For the solution, first step is to arrange the scores in ascending order. We have 1, 3, 7, 7, 16, 21, 27, 30, and 31. Second step is to locate the position of the scores in the distribution. Let us compute first the lower quartile. Using the formula for quartile, we have the position of Q sub 1 is equal to 1 quantity 9 plus 1 all over 4. Since our K is 1 because we are looking for the Q sub 1 and our N is equal to 9 because we have 9 data. Let us compute 9 plus 1, we have 10. 10 times 1, we have 10. 10 divided by 4, again, we have 2.5. The computed value is 2.5. Step number 3. If the result is a decimal number, proceed for the interpolation. Since the result is a decimal number, interpolation is needed. Again, the position of Q sub 1 is equal to the 2.5th element, meaning it is between the second and the third element, which is 3 
and 7. The second element is 3 and the third element is 7. So we will follow the steps of interpolation to get the exact value of the lower quartile. Step number 1. Find the difference between the two values wherein Q sub K is situated. So we have 7 minus 3 and that is equal to 4. Step number 2. Multiply the results by the decimal obtained. So we have 4 times the decimal point 0 0.5 and that is equal to 2. Step number 3. Add the result in the smaller number in step number 1. So we have 2 plus the second data which is 3 is equal to 5. Hence, using the linear interpolation method, we can conclude that Q sub 1 is equal to 5. Q sub 1 means 25% of the data. Therefore, there are 25% of the test scores of 9 students in their mathematics activity are less than or equal to 5. Next, let us solve the upper quartile or Q sub 3. We can now proceed to step number 2, locate the position of the score in the distribution since we already arranged the data in ascending order. Using the formula for quartile, we have Q sub K is equal to K quantity N plus 1 all over 4, we have the position of Q sub 3 is equal to 3 quantity 9 plus 1 all over 4. Our K is equal to 3 since we are looking for Q sub 3 and our N is 9 since we have 9 data. 9 plus 1 is equal to 10, then 3 times 10 is equal to 30, 30 divided by 4 is equal to 7.5. If the result is decimal number, proceed for the interpolation. Since the result is decimal number, interpolation is needed. Again, the position of Q sub 3 is at 7.5 element, meaning it is between the 7 and the 8 element which is 27 and 30. So, we will follow the steps of interpolation to get the exact value of the upper quartile. Step number one is to find the difference between the two values wherein Q sub K is situated. So we have 30 minus 27 since our 8th term is 30 and our 7th term is 27. And that is equal to 3. Step number two is to multiply the result by the decimal obtained. So we have 3 times the decimal obtained which is 0 0.5. 3 times 0 0.5 is equal to 1.5. Step number 3, add the result in the smaller number in step number 1. So we have 1.5 plus the smaller number which is 27. 1.5 plus 27 is equal to 28.5. Hence, using the linear interpolation method, Q sub 3 is equal to 28.5. Since Q sub 3 is equal to 75%, therefore, 75% of the test scores of 9 students in their mathematics activity are less than or equal to 28.5. At this moment, let us discuss how to solve the decimal for ungrouped data using linear interpolation. Mr. Romero is a veterinarian. One morning, she asked her secretary to record the service time in minutes for 15 customers. 20, 35, 55, 28, 46, 32, 25, 56, 55, 28, 37, 60, 47, 52, 70. Find the fourth decile using linear interpolation method. For the solution, first step, 
is to arrange the squares in ascending order. So we have 17, 20, 25, 28, 28, 32, 35, 37, 46, 47, 52, 55, 55, 56, and 60. Second step is to locate the position of the score in the distribution. Let us compute d sub 4 using the formula for decile which is d sub k is equal to k quantity n plus 1 all over 10. We obtained the position of d sub 4 is equal to 4 quantity 15 plus 1 all over 10 since our k is 4 because we are looking for d sub 4 and our n is 15 because we have 15 number of data. Let's compute 15 plus 1 is equal to 16, then 16 times 4 is equal to 64. Lastly, 64 divided by 10 is 6.4. So the position of the fourth decile is 6.4 data element. Step number 3. If the result is a decimal number, proceed for the interpolation. Since the result is a decimal number, interpolation is needed. Again, the position of D sub 4 is 6.4th element, meaning it is between the 6th and the 7th element, which is the 32 for the 6th element and our 7th element is 35. So we will follow the steps of interpolation to get the exact value of the fourth decile. Step number one is to find the difference between the two values wherein d sub k is situated. So we have 35 minus 32 and that is equal to 3. Step number two is to multiply the result by the decimal obtained. That is 3 times the decimal obtained 0 0.4 which is equal to 1.2. Step number 3 is to add the result in the smaller number in step number 1. So we have 1.2 plus the smaller value which is 32. 1.2 plus 32 is equal to 33.2. Hence, using the linear interpolation method, d sub 4 is equal to 33.2. d sub 4 means 40% of the distribution. Therefore, 40% of the 15 customers have less than or equal to 33.2 minutes service time. At this moment, let us discuss how to solve percentile for ungrouped data using the linear interpolation. Mr. Romero is a veterinarian. One morning, she asked her secretary to record the service time in minutes for 15 customers. The following are the service times in minutes. 20, 35, 55, 28, 46, 32, 25, 56, 55, 28, 37, 60, 47, 52, and 17. Find the 78th percentile using the linear interpolation method. Again, for the solution, we must follow the steps. Steps. First step is to arrange the scores in ascending order. So we have 17, 20, 25, 28, 28, 32, 35, 37, 46, 47, 52, 55, 55, 56, and 60. Second step is to locate the position of the score in the distribution. Let us compute P sub 78. So the position of P sub 78 is equal to 78 quantity 15 plus 1 all over 100. The denominator is 100 because we are looking for the percentile. Then, our k is 78 because we have p sub 78. Then, our n is equal to 15 because we have 15 numbers of data. 
Let us compute 15 plus 1 is equal to 16. 78 times 16 is 1,248. 1,248 divided by 100 is 12.48 data element. So the position of the 78th percentile is at 12.48 data element. Step number three, if the result is a decimal number, proceed for the interval. Again, the position of P sub 78 is at 12.48 data element. The result is a decimal number, so interpolation is needed. It is between the 12th data element and the 13th data element. Our 12th data element is 55, and our 13th data element is also 55. Therefore, we can conclude that the 78th percentile, or P sub 78, is equal to 55. Let us check using the steps of interpolation if the exact value of 78th percentile is really 55. Step 1 is to find the difference between the two values wherein D sub K is situated. So 55 minus 55 is equal to 0. Step number 2 is to multiply the result by the decimal obtained. 0 times 0 0.48 is equal to 0 because anything that you multiply by 0 is equal to 0. Step 3, add the result in the smaller number in step 1. So we have 0 plus 55 and that is equal to 55. Hence, using the linear interpolation method, P sub 78 is equal to 55. To interpret this, since P sub 78 is equal to 78%, therefore, 78% of the 15 customers have less than or equal to 55 minutes service time.